tonight. A controversial COVID testing chain is temporarily closing. It comes amid a federal investigation and mounting complaints. WGN's Kelly Davis live outside the Center for COVID Control with details on this recent development. Kelly. Ray and Micah, the Center for COVID Control is a national chain with more than 300 testing sites across the country. It was started here locally and there are about 30 in the city of Chicago. This is one of them right behind me. It is closed for the night and will stay closed for the next week. They are all shut down through Saturday, September or excuse me, Saturday, January 22nd. I haven't gotten my test results. Ruth Evans went to this free COVID testing site on the north side, expecting results in two days. He said 48 hours, so it's been longer than that. The site is affiliated with the Center of COVID Control, a national testing chain which has received dozens of similar complaints. They're not responding to complaints at all. Steve Burness, president of Chicago's Better Business Bureau, warned people about the pop-up testing sites earlier this week. The majority of complaints allege that there's no response after they're taking the test. There's a payment required for expedited services response times and they don't get the expedited response. The BBB gave the Center for COVID Control an F rating and the Illinois Attorney General's office is investigating the company. The center is not licensed or regulated by any government agency. Amid the heightened scrutiny, the center announced it's halting operations for one week starting tomorrow. The CEO said, quote, regrettably, due to our rapid growth and the unprecedented recent demand for testing, we haven't been able to meet all our commitments. We've made this difficult decision to temporarily pause all operations until we are confident that all collection sites are meeting our high quality standards. The company said the intense demand for testing during the Omicron surge has strained staff members, leading to long wait times at the test centers and delayed results. During this hiatus, the CEO says the company will focus on three things. The first, hiring more staff to support the increased need for testing. Uh, they also plan to improve customer service and review all of their guidelines so that they comply with regulatory guidelines when it comes to COVID-19 testing. Reporting live on the South Side, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News. Thank you, Kelly.